Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video you will learn how to create this 3D model treasure map in PowerPoint Office 365, step by step. To make it more fun, we will be adding slide zooms, section zooms, custom slide zoom covers, animation triggers and a cool video background. So let's go! That's good. Before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneSkill channel. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. You can learn many new skills, my friends, such as animation, design and illustration. Recently, I have taken this class on Skillshare called Creativity Unleashed – Discover, Hone and Share Your Voice Online by Nathaniel Drew. We as creators sometimes get stuck in our creative process when thinking what to create next. And I really like Nathaniel's ideas on how to get unstuck. One of the ideas is developing and staying close to your core theme. And I know that you, my dear fans, like PowerPoint parallax videos and PowerPoint zoom videos, so in today's video we will stay close to the slide zoom theme. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with annual subscription. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a free trial of premium membership, so you can explore your creativity. And now let's continue with the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so let's open up a fresh blank new presentation and let's start inserting some awesome 3D models. So let's just go to insert tab and click on 3D models. And now we can just scroll down until we find this awesome section called treasure hunt. Now let's just insert this 3D map. Alright, you can use the handle inside of this 3D model uh, to rotate this model to any, you know, view that you want. So let's make sure this uh, map is center aligned inside of the slide. All right. And now let me just copy a couple of text boxes from my previous uh, presentation to speed up to speed up this process. All right. And now let's create a little gradient background for our text boxes. So let's just insert a rectangle. Let's send it to back. Now let me just copy the style of this text box and let's paste the style to this text box, alright. And now we can insert a video for our background, so find any video that you like. Example this one from Pexels, link is in the video description, let's send it back as well. And let's make sure that it plays automatically and that, that, and that it loops until stopped, alright. So we can uh, hit preview on the full screen. Everything is looking awesome so far. Alright, so now we need to... Uh, let's rotate this map a little bit, like that. And now we need to add more 3D models, so that, you know, we have some action going on on top of our uh, 3D map. So, let's select a couple of models from the treasure hunt section. And then let's just hit insert. Alright, so the models have been inserted and now let me resize those models a little bit so that they are smaller. And now we can just uh, play with the positions and spread them around this uh, beautiful map. And you can uh, rotate your models with that handle inside of the center of the model. Alright, let's see if we have missed anything. So yes, we still need to add Rhino. So let's type in Rhino side of the search bar here it is as you can see this model is animated so that's awesome so as you can see this uh, rhino model is moving it's animated so that's uh, really interesting it's a new feature as you can see there is an animation applied to this rhino let's leave these animations a little bit for later and now let's continue with adding a section zoom so let me remind what is section zoom so as you can see once we click on this boat we come to the section zoom and after that we come into slice zoom so it's like a double zoom <laughs> so let's just do everything step by step it will be easier 
So first of all, let's insert a section zoom. Let's give it a name boat, for example. And now let's just insert four blank slides. So the second slide will be for the section zoom for these three models. And the rest of the slides will be for the slide zooms, you know, for the most deep level uh, content. All right, so let's copy this uh, object from my previous slide to save some time. So this is just a picture of a map with a couple of uh, text boxes. And let's copy this uh, ship model as well. Let's paste it right here. So let's check in the animation pane if we have if we have any animations. Let's delete them for now because we'll be adding those beautiful new 3D model animations, uh, you know, together step by step. As you can see, we have some new animations such as uh, turntable. And just for fun, let's make sure that our animations are triggered by triggers. So let's create a trigger for our animation. So let's just insert a rounded rectangle. And let's type in spin, for example, inside of that uh, rectangle. And now let's just copy this uh, style from the previous text box. Text box. <laughs> text box. And let's paste it to the new text box. All right. And in the selection pane, you can always name your shapes so that you easily know which object is which. All right. Okay, so now we can select our ship model. We can go to animations and let's choose this turntable animation. All right, and now let's make sure that it is triggered when we click on the spin uh, rounded rectangle. In the timing, we can set a desired uh, duration, for example, 10 seconds. All right, and now we can give it a preview. So as you can see, once we click on the spin button or trigger, the animation is triggered and we get this beautiful turntable animation, which is a new animation for 3D objects in Office 365. That's awesome. Let me copy these two last uh, slides in the boat section from my previous uh, presentation. And let's, uh, let's just delete these empty slides and let's copy those slides instead of them. All right, so now we have uh, three slides with animations for so for this book we have a swing animation and for the binoculars we have this jump and turn awesome animation all right so as you can see here we have these uh, three pictures of those uh, 3d models so these pictures are actually slide zooms so let's insert some slide zooms you can select a couple of slides while holding down the command or control key so as you can see now we have inserted three slide zooms, slide zooms, all right. And now let's just right click on each of them and select zoom background, which will make their background transparent. That's awesome. And we can change uh, the covers of these slide zooms. So let's just insert, for example, boat, or let me just insert ship picture, just like that. Uh, by the way, if you don't know how to make these pictures, so you can select any uh, 3D model and you can save it as a picture, as a PNG picture. And later on, you can use those uh, pictures as new covers for your slide zooms. This is really useful when you don't want to show, you know, all of the elements that are present in your slide and you just want to sh show some kind of basic uh, cover for your slide zoom. So that's why it's uh, sometimes useful to change uh, the covers example just like that awesome and let's make sure that return to zoom is uh, checked so that after we zoom in we zoom back all right and in our main slide as you can see this boat this is just a 3d model so we just delete it and now we insert a section zoom which leads us to our uh, boats <laughs> to our boat section all right and once again, we can change the cover to something uh, different. For example, let's use this picture of a boat. All right. So now it's not a 3D model of the boat, but it's a cover. And it leads to section boat. <laughs> Sounds complicated, but it's really not that complicated. All right. So let me just uh, show you how everything works. So here we have a section zoom. We zoom into the inside of the section and here we have three slide zooms and now we can zoom into each of these slide zooms. Here we have the animation triggers, for example, spin animation. That looks awesome. 
You can adjust uh, the speed of the animation in the animation pane if it's too slow or too fast. What are binoculars? Binoculars we have jump and turn animation. Awesome, looks dynamic. And for the book we have a more subtle uh, swing animation. So basically just swing a little bit to one side and to the other side. Awesome. And now when we click once more we should get back to our main slide. Looks like uh, this was the last slide in the section, that's why it's repeated. And now we come back to the main slide. So if we would want this book to be the last slide, so we just have to move it to the bottom of the section. All right. And now we can continue with the next section, which is Rhino. So let's just add a new section. Let's give it a name, Rhino. All right, let's insert a blank slide. And now let's just uh, cut this model from the main slide because either way we'll have to insert a section zoom. And for this model we can uh, increase the size of this model. And let me just copy these three rounded rectangle buttons or shapes from my previous presentation. All right, now we can select our Rhino model. Let's go to animations and let's add this uh, walking animation. Let's make sure it starts when we click on the walk button. Now let's add this uh, running animation and let's make sure it's triggered when we click on the run button. And one more animation, turn table or spin animation. And let's make sure that it's triggered when we click on the spin button. That's awesome. All right, we can adjust the duration of the spin. And for the walk and run animations, we can set how many times we would like those, you know, walking and running cycles to repeat. All right, so uh, in the main slide, let's insert a section zoom. This time, this leads to the Rhino slide. So let's make the um, section zoom background transparent. And let's add a custom cover. And this time, let's just use a picture of a Rhino that I have uh, saved uh, previously. All right, everything seems to be set. So let's check it out on the full screen. All right, so we click on the Rhino section zoom. Now we have, uh, have <laughs> three buttons for the walk, for running, and for spinning. That's awesome. And what's even more awesome, when your rhino is spinning, you can make him walk or run at the same time. So that's uh, super duper awesome. As you can see, the animation of the rhino is a little bit laggy. So if you would reduce uh, the size of this model, I think the animation would run a little bit uh, more, uh, you know, smooth. So let's just reduce the size of this rhino a little bit. And now it should be okay. So now let's add the last uh, section. Let's call it uh, treasure. And now let me just uh, copy these uh, last slides from my previous presentation. So let's insert these uh, three slides right here. All right. Okay, and in slide number seven, let's just add three slide zooms as before. This time, let's choose these three slides. Let's make sure that the backgrounds of all of these slide zooms are transparent. So right click on each of them. We can, uh, of course, arrange the order of the slides. So right click on each of them. And uh, click on zoom background, which makes the background transparent. Okay, and now we can change the zoom covers. For example, for the treasure slide, we can insert a shovel. For example, we don't want our audience to know that in that you know, slide zoom, the, there is a treasure. Maybe we want our audience to find the treasure. That's why you, know, you can use a custom uh, cover for your slide zoom. And in the main slide, we just insert uh, the section zoom. And once again, we can insert a custom cover for our section zoom. So, for example, a couple of, uh, you know, pieces of wood, or how do you call them, logs. 
All right, and let's just make sure that all of these uh, slide zooms have uh, the check mark return to zoom. And now everything should be working fine. So let's uh, check it out with the full screen. So once again, let's just check out if the Rhino is, uh, you know, running and walking smoothly. All right, so now the animation is looking a little bit more smooth since we, you know, reduced the size of the Rhino. That's awesome. And now our treasure section. So here we have this uh, barrel. We zoom in, so there are no text boxes, no animation, just a simple slide zoom. Here we have our wooden logs. All right, and here we have our last uh, slide zoom with the custom cover of shovel. And once we zoom in, hooray, the treasure has been found. And here we have some jumping and turning animation applied to these two 3D models. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create this awesome 3D model zoom map in PowerPoint. We have learned how to insert slide zooms, section zooms, how to add custom covers to those slide zooms and section zooms, and how to add animation triggers, and how to add a video background. And since uh, this video is pretty much all about slide zooms and section zooms, I think it fits really well to my slide zoom course, which is available on udemy.com. Feel free to check it out, link is in the video description. And by the way, today's presentation will be attached as a downloadable file in the bonus lecture section of the course and on Patreon as well. So thank you very much, my students on Udemy and my supporters on Patreon. Everyone, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.